Hello everyone, this presentation is done by Professor Anup Dumbre from Dr. D. Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. Today we will learn about Garidon service. The definition of the term Garidon is, a movable service table or trolley from which food may be served. In effect, the Garidon is a movable sideboard or service station carrying sufficient equipment for the service requirements, together with any spare equipment that may be necessary. This form of service became established in France in deluxe restaurants, where carving, finishing and flambé were increasingly carried out in front of guests. Flambé dishes first became popular in the Edwardian era. The origin of flambé is attributed to an incident involving Henri Charpentier which took place in 1894 at the famous Café de Paris restaurant at Monte Carlo. The famous restaurateur Henri Charpentier, who was at that time a commis, was waiting at the table of Edward King of Wales. While preparing a pancake dish in orange sauce, the brandy in it accidentally caught fire, however using his presence of mind, Henry claimed that this was part of the procedure in the preparation of a newly invented dessert and called it Crepe Princess after the lady who was Edward's companion for that evening. However since the lady was not of royal birth, the dish was renamed as Crepe Suzette. The original meaning of the term Garadon in France was a small table with a single central pedestal. Now we will look into how Garadon service helps to improve restaurant sales. It is a scene service that acts as a powerful psychological stimulant which in turn promotes impulse buying. Garadon service at another table arouses the curiosity of guests unfamiliar with the concept and encourages them to give it a try. Higher guest checks are the result of successful Garadon salesmanship. It promises a novel and exciting experience that is significantly different from the usual table service encountered in most restaurants. Garadon cookery often results in pleasant and enticing odors circulating in the restaurant which stimulate the of smell which often works in favor of Garadon items being requested as part of a table's order. Visual attraction of flames provides entertainment and spectacle. And being a performer in front of the guest itself is a form of entertainment. This works as a scope to show simple cooking without much expenses. As Garadon Sevis needs skilled worker but it enhances job satisfaction and pride in job of the employee, it also improves gratuities, stimulates inventiveness, and creativity. Let's look into the points needs to be considered in terms of food selection for Garadon preparation. All the food ingredients should be fresh and visually attractive. They should not be discolored or break down fast in terms of quality. Menu items should be easy to prepare with minimum time. They should not produce unpleasant smell which can affect the guest meal experience. As in Garadon service each dish has to be prepared individually and in front of the guest server needs to maintain utmost quality. Now we will look into special equipment required to perform Garadon service. Flare lamps. These are an essential item of equipment for Garadon service and are used in cooking and flambeing dishes. The maintenance of the flare lamp is very important to maximize the life of the lamp and to minimize the possibility of accidents. The main types of lamp used today are fueled in one of three ways, first one is methylated spirits. These have a good flame, but care must be taken to trim the wick, which will help to avoid fumes. All components must fit together well as any leakage of the spirit can cause a serious fire hazard. Nowadays the use of these lamps is on the decline. Then there is flammable gel. This is very clean and safe to refill as the gel either comes in individual lamp size containers, which fit directly into the lamp, or in a large container with a dispenser. However, the flame can be fairly weak. And third one is calor gas. These lamps are very popular and replacement canisters can be obtained that fit directly into the lamp. The gas is odorless and excellent control of the flame can be achieved. These lamps are often inbuilt into the trolleys where the lamp is incorporated into the structure, thus giving the same working height all along the trolley top. This is much safer and there is less chance of accidents. Other special equipments are Shallow pans which are used for lamp cookery. Hot plate. These are used to keep the food hot before we serve it to customer. They are usually positioned on sideboard. Chafing dish. The true chafing dish is deep, has a lid and is designed to fit onto its own individual heating unit. 
Other than these equipment there is one special ingredient used in Garadon service. Liquors. There are many different types of liquors used for lamp cookery and flambe work such as spirits, fortified wines, liquors, fermented beverages etc. Now we will learn about Garadon trolley and their various types. The main purpose of using Garadon trolley is flambe work. Well organized and perfectly structured trolley is good for showmanship. Gyuriden trolley consist of one or two burners and also have shelf underneath for storing necessary ingredients. The top of the trolley is stainless steel, which allows for easy cleaning. The Garadon will normally also have a control switch for the gas lamp, a drawer for surplus service equipment, a cutting board for use when cooking dishes at the table, a bracket on the lower shelf used for holding bottles of spirit and liqueurs and an indentation in the top to hold accompaniments. Carving Trolley Carving trolleys often not found in India. The top side of the trolley consists of cutting board with provision for side gutter to flow out the excess juice from the meat while cutting, the side of the trolley is silver plated and with metal rolling dome shape cover. Otters Trolley A classical Otters trolley would have ceramic raviers, or stainless steel dishes, fitted three, four abreast in rotating shelves to display up to 20 to 24 choices of appetizers. The rotating fixture that contains the raviers would be rotated away from the guest so that he may see everything on the trolley in order to make a choice and anything spilt would not fall on the guest. Each ravier would have its own service spoon and fork. Alternatively, a simpler cart with a series of similar dishes set in the tap shelf of the trolley, with or without a hinged transparent protective cover. The lower level may contain plates and spare cutlery. Cheese Trolley when an extension variety of cheese is to be promoted, the mobility of a cheese trolley offers obvious advantages. A simple two-tier card is suitable, the top for display and serving, the lower for mice and place. The card can also carry biscuits, boner, celery, and possibly apple, spring onion and other accompaniments. The display, upper, tier exhibits the range of cheese on an amply decorated surface that is entirely enclosed by a transparent dome cover. Shelves below hold plates, cheese knives, and certain accompaniments. Liquor Trolley At the end of the meal these trolleys are presented to the guest. Trolleys for spirits, liqueurs, and aperitifs display branded bottles standing in wells or ringed enclosures on the uppermost shelf of the trolley to prevent toppling when the trolley is moved around in the restaurant from table to table. These trolleys are always open. Dessert Trolley these trolleys comes with three tiers. The top tier consists of a fiberglass top that enables the guest to see what is on offer. Other two tiers are used to store the equipment like cutlery and crockery. Now we will look into care and maintenance of equipment. It is the visual display of preparing food at the table that is attractive to many customers. All actions must therefore meet the highest hygiene and safety standards and good planning and organization can achieve this. The hygiene and safety factors relating to Garadon service are given below. Hygiene and appearance of staff should be of the highest standard. All equipment should be spotlessly clean and polished daily. Food should not be handled with bare hands. Trolleys should be wiped down between each use. The hot plate or lamp should never be placed outside of the trolley legs. The trolley should not be positioned for use close to curtains or soft furnishings. Spirits should never be left near heated trolleys or naked flames. Spirits should be handled carefully when flaming dishes. Employee should never pull the trolley and always push the trolley. The trolley should not be moved around the restaurant with food or equipment on it. Lamps should be checked on a daily basis to ensure they are in good working order. Employee should never pull the trolley and always push the trolley. Now we will see the points needs to be considered while taking order in Garadon service. Always take the order from left side of the guest. Always carry the menu while taking the order. Do not get too close to the guest make sure individual orders are important to avoid confusion in service. Inform guest the time his order will take to prepare. Keep the plate on the hot plate or on the trolley and not on the guest table. Prepare the dish and portion it out into the plate with appropriate garnish and presentation standards. Vegetable and potato to be placed on the plate with the sauces if any. Use of spoon and fork is important while handling the food. 
Plate goes on the guest table if more than two people to be served, vegetable and potato can be served on the table itself as a family style in separate bowl. And what are the points to be remembered during carving? Make sure always use a very sharp knife. Keep an eye on portion control. Meat is carved across the grain. Carving fork must hold the joint firmly. Practice as much as possible. And following are the methods of carving. Beef and ham, always cut very thinly. Lamb, mutton, pork, tongue and veal, carved at double the thickness of beef and ham. Broiler chicken, cut into four portions. Pausin or baby chicken, either offered whole or in two potions. Salmon, served in fillet. At last we will see different types of liquors used in lamb cookery and flambe work for various purpose. Various types of liquors used in Garadon service are spirits, fortified wines, sparkling wine, still wines, beer, cider, syrups. They are normally used to flambe, to sweeten, to color, to balance flavors, to determine correct consistency of the sauces, to remove excessive fat slash grease from the preparations. Thank you very much. And I hope that the content of this presentation is easy to understand, and it will enhance your knowledge about Gary Dawn service.